joined by former Donald Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski. Corey, thanks all for coming on tonight. So you just heard Congressman Swalwell um, bring up almost first thing this statement from the former FBI director that says President Trump asked for his, quote, loyalty. Now, assuming that's true, why would the president ask for loyalty from an FBI director? What does that mean? Look, what the president asked for was loyalty to the country and loyalty to make sure that the American people have the justice system that they want. That's not unheard of. That's not uncalled for. And what the president asked for as a president-elect was to develop a rapport with the incoming FBI director. If you read the statement that the FBI director made, what he said was in his entire tenure, he had two conversations with Barack Obama when he was the president of the United States. One was to simply say goodbye. And in the time that President Trump uh, has taken office, from the time he was the president, President-elect till the time Jim Comey was fired for uh, not performing his job well. He had nine separate conversations with the president in multiple meetings. The difference is this president is hands-on, wants to make sure that we have the best Justice Department available, and he made the decision as the commander-in-chief to relieve a person from duty who was no longer capable of, of running the FBI. Well, that's for sure, and you'll get no disagreement from me or, by the way, seek privately from a lot of Democrats. They thought that Comey was out of control because he was. Why, though, would the president have asked the attorney general to leave the room before he spoke to the FBI director? Look, it's very possible the president wants to have private conversations. And, you know, the president has that prerogative and is entitled to have those conversations. But what's important, Tucker, as you know, is when Director uh, Comey appeared in Trump Tower in January, prior to the president even being inaugurated, he informed the president that he was not under investigation in any way, shape, or form. And it's important I read this. He said, I should be prepared to assure President-elect Trump that we were not investigating him personally. That was true. We did not have an open counterintelligence case on him. It's very clear the president-elect and now President Trump has never been under FBI investigation. And the president cited that on three separate occasions when he dismissed Jim Comey for his lack of ability to continue to lead the FBI. That on three occasions, Director Comey informed the president he was never under investigation. Right. No, I, I think that's, that's definitely one of the headlines here. Uh, another headline today is that apparently the Attorney General of the United States does not have the support of the President. The White House Press Secretary was asked today to affirm the President's support for Jeff Sessions and he wouldn't. Why is that? Look, I think what we know about this president and what we know about uh, Sean Spicer is it's very clear that the president speaks for the president. And this is a president who has uh, been exceptionally accessible to the media, whether it's through print media or broadcast media or through his Twitter accounts. And the president will speak for himself when he believes it necessary to do so. And I think it's fair that the president will have the ability to answer uh, if he continues to have the faith of you, Jeff Sessions or not. Right. Do you, th I mean, do you think the president understands that Sessions isn't just another guy who works for him, but maybe the one guy who really understands why he got elected and that he was key to the president's election and that if he fires Jeff Sessions, a lot of his supporters will say, you know what, I'm out. I mean, does he see Sessions that way? Look, Jeff was one of, the, as you know, the very first U.S. senators to yes. endorse President Trump. Right. He was with us in Mobile, Alabama in August of 2015. Uh, Senator Sessions then and now Attorney General Sessions has been a steadfast supporter of this president and the agenda which he wants to move forward, which is immigration reform and tax cuts and, right. and repealing and replacing Obamacare. And what we know is that Jeff Sessions is an individual who has the utmost integrity and is going to do what is right. But as, as you know, every individual who is confirmed by yep. the U.S. Senate serves at the will of the president. If the president decides to make a decision to change that, that's his prerogative. That would be a grave mistake. And I hope that doesn't happen. That's my view. Anyway, Corey, thanks a lot for joining us tonight. Thank you.